teacher talk and sports here last day before winter break but anyhow let's get to the video yesterday we looked at the 10 best cincinnati bearcats when it came to their performance in the nfl today we are going to look at the georgia bulldogs who are ranked third in uh, the college football playoff they will be playing michigan on new year's eve uh, we'll get to michigan tomorrow we're going in descending order from how they're ranked cincinnati is ranked fourth georgia was ranked third so this is looking at their performance when it came to the nfl all time let's get into it from descending order 10 to 1. number 10 we got ray donaldson center Played from 1980 to 1996, was a six-time Pro Bowler, made 228 career starts, won a Super Bowl late in his career with the Dallas Cowboys. Number nine, we got safety Jake Scott. Played from 1970 to 78. In those nine years, was a five-time Pro Bowler, two-time All-Pro, intercepted 49 passes, had at least three in every season and then at least four in eight of the nine years won two Super Bowls as well number eight we got Richard Seymour the Patriots legend played from 2001 to 12 won seven Pro Bowls three-time All-Pro 57 and a half sacks and won three Super Bowls with the team number seven we got Matthew Stafford has been drafted first overall in 2009 still playing was the comeback player of the year in 2011 Threw for 49,700 yards and 315 touchdowns thus far. Uh, he currently leads the NFL in QBR while in his first year with the Los Angeles Rams. And number six, we got ride receiver Heinz Ward. Played from 1998 to 2011. Made four Pro Bowls. Six times had over 1,000 yards. And his career caught exactly 1,000 passes for 12,083 yards. 85 touchdowns. Also won two Super Bowls with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Let's get to the top five. At number five, we got another wide receiver, A.J. Green. Played, started his career in 2011, is currently on the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, has made seven Pro Bowls, six times on over 1,000 yards. Has 695 catches in his career for 10,148 yards and 68 touchdowns. Also had three seasons with double-digit touchdown totals. Number four, defensive tackle Geno Atkins, played from 2010 to 20, made eight Pro Bowls, two times was an All-Pro, and had 75 and a half sacks for his career, three times in the double figures. Number three, running back Terrell Davis, played from 1995 to 2001, a little bit of an abbreviated career, but what a career it was, won MVP in 1998, was Super Bowl 32 MVP. I uh, was Offensive Player of the Year twice in 1996 and 1998. Was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2017. Uh, one of very few rushers to run for over 2,000 yards in a season. Had 2008 in 1998. Um, from 1996 to 98, he ran for 49 touchdowns. Number two, we got Fran Tarkington. Quarterback played from 1961 to 78, was the MVP in 1975, a nine-time Pro Bowler, inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1986, threw for 47,300 yards and 342 touchdowns, also added 32 rushing touchdowns with his feet, and the head of the class, Champ Bailey, Cornerback played from 1999 to 2013, 12-time Pro Bowler, three-time All-Pro, first ballot Hall of Famer in 2019, 52 interceptions in his historic career, leading the league with 10 in 2006. So there you have it, um, the top 10 Georgia Bulldogs. In when it comes to the NFL, uh, they've had a long and storied history, the school, of course. So some honorable mentions include Mo Lewis, Guy McIntyre, Thomas Davis, and Justin Houston. As a subjective list, of course, you could disagree with my list. Let me know in the comments who your top 10 would be. Would you switch up the order? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.